special shout out to play more games. What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is As the Cheese Gaming. And I'm back with a new Super Nintendo review for you. In celebration of all things Spooktober. This week's review, we're going to take a look at Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. Which was developed by Phoenix Interactive Entertainment and published by Claim. With a North American release date of October 1995. My apologies, I couldn't find a specific day. Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday is a side-scrolling action platformer. The story for this game goes, Porky is having an awful nightmare, and you need to navigate him through six levels such as a desert, an abandoned mine, and a castle. You have five lives, and unlimited continues. Now, right away when you start this game off, you get the feeling that Acclaim was trying to target a much younger audience. In this game, the controls are very simple, pretty much just a button for a projectile and a button for jump. Not a whole lot much else about the controls. One thing that I would like to touch on is the music and sound effects in this game. The first time you play this game, if you're like me, you'll find that the music is kind of catchy. But, sadly, the tunes are so short that it gets repetitive really quick. And oftentimes, I just found myself muting it or playing something else instead. Now, the sound effects, on the other hand, they're just almost non-existent. It's like I never really heard them or noticed them, to be honest. So, take it for what you will. Now, finally, let's answer the question. Is Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday worth buying and collecting today? Well, at a price charting price of $13, you could certainly do far worse. Well, it is a pretty basic, bare bones action platformer, it's still pretty fun. And it's a nice game to try out during the spooky season. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween, everybody. Until next time.